Hey guys, welcome back today to another video. Welcome back to, I don't even know what episode this is of the Chelsea career mode. You guys will probably realise that in the last few episodes there were sort of bulk recordings before I went to Bali. Now I'm back from Bali. We've got the small matter of a Carling Cup semi-final away at Tottenham to deal with first. But before we do that, I just want to let you guys know a little bit of an update for me personally on the channel. Now, we're going to be doing a rebrand very soon, which doesn't really make any difference to you guys whatsoever. But what it does mean is there's going to be more focus on real life football content. I've got a load of things planned and it's actually not just me making plans that I'm not going to fulfill for once, which is a... Uh, which has been a theme on the channel for, for many years, to be quite honest. It's more of like a, a long-term strategy as to where I want to take this channel forward. You know when people message you and all of a sudden, instead of, instead of sending like one long message, you get it in 50 parts. That could be the case here. Anyway, what was I saying? There's gonna be a lot more real life football content. I've got a video coming out in, got a video coming out on Sunday with Theo and Mark Upson, which is gonna be really, really good. And yeah, just those sort of football videos are the ones I want to be filming more of. And not just football in the UK. Obviously, you guys know I do a lot of travel stuff with my daily vlogging channel. I want to incorporate football content with that travel content. So expect a lot of that to come. But in the meantime, Chelsea career mode is going nowhere. And if you're enjoying this series, please leave a like on the video right now to let me know that you guys are still actually enjoying this series. Because I know that not everyone is a fan of career mode. But I really enjoy this. This is how I still enjoy playing FIFA. With career mode, as you can see, we're struggling uh, in, terms of, in terms of my managerial points. We have got Tottenham away at home, actually. Okay, I, th I thought the first leg was away. But the first leg is at home in the semi-finals of the Cup. We're going to be playing this one. Then we've got Leicester in the league. And uh, yeah, this is a big episode because, to be quite honest, we need a trophy this season and it's not looking too likely to be honest Lukaku has started to come back into a bit more form he's gonna play up top with Traore okay cool let's go all right this is a biggie this is a big game come on Stamford Bridge the first leg this is where we've got to take the victory into that second leg away at Tottenham and if you I don't know if you saw you probably did you probably recognize this Ipswich versus Wigan in the other semi-final so two championship teams in one semi and two Premier League teams in the other means if we can beat Spurs, the chances are we're probably going to win the, the, the cup. Although we were beaten in the FA Cup by a team in a lower division, that's because we simulated. And you guys since then have said, don't simulate any matches because it ruins it. So we're not simulating ever again. It's not worth the hassle. I'd rather get sacked from my own accord than losing in the cup thanks to the simulation. Oh no. Good save. All right, here we go. This is good. Masonda in the middle. Troy Ore's there. Good touch. Oh, did it hit his own man? Off the post. How has that not gone in? How has that not gone in? Lukaku was onside. All he had to do was put it in the net. I can't believe that. Then Bele hits the post. It is still nil-nil. That was a real, real chance. No. Go on, Dave. Get him. No. Yes. Oh! How has he missed? He's offside. He hit the crossbar, but he was offside anyway. Oh no, good save Thibaut, what a piece of skill that was. Lukaku, he's been a bit of a nemesis for me in this series to be honest. He's not been anywhere near as good as I thought he would be. Now Traore, Dembele has kept going, that's good. Come on, cut back in, go on, give it to Traore. First time, oh, drags it wide, good football. Let's go then, oh referee. Traore would have been away there, that's a good yellow card. Well, as I say a good yellow card, as in that, that was a yellow. Well done, ref. If we can get a goal now, just before half-time. Lukaku. Sanchez. Comes to Cesc. Fabregas deflected for a corner. Could have been going in. We don't really... We're never going to find out, to be honest. Cesc again. Puts it in towards Lukaku's head. Ah, oh, Zuma. Oh, no! No! Just before half-time. I thought that I managed to beat him to the... Harry Kane. Keeper should have done better at his near post. 92 rated Courtois. That is an, a shambolic attempt at trying to save it. Okay, here we go. This is better. Yes, Dembele. Oh, Maurice with the save. He's such a good keeper. Villacreta's lost it again. Oh, Harry Kane. What a goal. You can't play against that sometimes. Harry Kane has just scored a beauty. He's probably going to go to Man United very soon as Man United sign all the strikers in career mode. 
2-0 down in the cup, this just isn't good, is it? As Piliqueta gives it away, he was at fault for the first goal, he's been at fault for the second, I'm going to bring him off. I think if we're 2-0 down, there's no way we're going to come back in the second leg. If we're one goal behind, I know it's still going to be very unlikely, but I feel like there's more chance of us coming back from one goal, obviously, than there is from two. Right, here's Aina, who's quite far forward. Oh, what's he doing, man? I should have bought him off, actually. He was, he's been poor. That's all. Oh, it's just completely done us up the... It's bad enough that it's Tottenham. It's also even worse. It's a Harry Kane hat-trick. Look at that. He just literally screwed us over. 3-0 to Spurs in the cup. They are... They're annihilating us. This is going to be Spurs' League Cup for sure now. Because Ipswich or Wigan in the, in the final, which is... That's why it's so annoying, because we could... We could beat either of those two, we, I think. We're still in it though, just about. Oh no, we're not, because Lukaku's on the end of it. Let's go, Royce. That is Lukaku. It's blocked again. Come on, if we can just get a goal. Just give us some sort of hope here. Now Lukaku to Royce. Come on, son. Show us what you got. Here we go. That's better. Lukaku. Good save from Larice again. Yes, Bertrand. That's good. Lukaku. Yes, good finish from Romelu Lukaku. We're back in the game, maybe back in the tie. 3-1 to Spurs. It's a good finish from Lukaku as well. Bertrand Traore with the assist. Good bit of patient build-up, nice pass. It's a lovely finish, actually. Wow, what a goal. 3-1. Oh, what a save. Incredible double save from Courtois. That may just keep us in it. It's been 19 attempts in this match in total. Okay, full time. 3-1 to Tottenham. It's not all over. It is probably all over, isn't it? I know you guys are like, come on, don't mess about. How many times are we going to beat Tottenham by two or more goals? We need to beat them by three goals. Right, we're eighth in the table, 20 games gone. It's the second half of the season. This is the time to make everything count. We're going to make a load of changes to make sure we've got our strongest team that we could possibly use. Royce is coming in there. Troyore for Lukaku. We've got so many good players. We've got Griezmann now, remember. Antoine Griezmann's going to go upside, upside? Alongside Costa. Maybe Lukaku over Costa, but the way he's just been going, it's just no, just not happening. We need a win here, and I think this could be the strongest team that we have available to us. If we don't beat Leicester at home, I'm just going to cry in a hole. Whew. Big one. Another big game. Every game's a big game. Not started the episode the way we would have wanted. At Stamford Bridge, losing to Spurs. A Harry Kane hat-trick. It's put me in a bloody bad mood, to be honest. It really has. There we go. 28 points. Eight adrift of Bournemouth, who are in fourth. Got to keep that pressure on them. And we're going to do that today with three points at home to Leicester. No doubt about it. We've got one of the strongest teams we could possibly use. Barkley's the only one who could potentially get into this team who is injured. So... Nothing other than a victory is good enough for us today. Griezmann as well up top. Bought him from Manchester United. Uh-oh. No! Good save. That's good. It's getting a bit too hyperactive. Oh dear. This is looking dangerous. Kaputska. I'm not sure who this dude is. It's a good ball. Pavon. Deary me. Dangerous again there from Leicester. Now Kante. Come on. Keep the ball for more than two seconds, please. Much better from Costa. That's good. Here we go. Here's Griezmann. He's got Royce. This is brilliant football. It's Marco Royce. Great save. First time we've tested Schmeichel. Should have been a goal. Still nil-nil though because of that. Royce is going to put it in towards Diego Costa. And it's going to be another corner. Russ. That's good. Dembele. Oh, penalty. That's a very easy penalty. So we're going to give the pen to Dembele because he won it. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to give it to Royce. Okay, do you want to let me change it to Royce or is this just not going to happen? Okay, here we go. Marco Royce, put it in. The left. Hand side of the goal. 1-0 to Chelsea. Marco Royce with the penalty. Won the corner, which set everything up for this. It's a good pen as well. Right into the bottom corner. Come on.
Guys, I've just realised that I forgot to reset the camera, so there's been a ton of gameplay that just hasn't had any audio on it. I apologise. Let me recap, because I've been talking and it's just not been recording. I apologise, it just happens sometimes, I forgot to reset it. We beat Leicester, Man United now, we're using exactly the same team, apart from Lukaku's in, instead of Costa. I apologise for the technical issues, but I hope you enjoyed the sped up highlights. Back to the reality of the episode. And this is a big one. This is a bigger one than the Leicester game. Uh oh. Maybe it was better that I did have the camera off. Because, yeah, okay, we're doing fine. As I was saying beforehand, win this, and we're only four points adrift of Man United. That is how tight it is at this moment in time. Uh oh, uh oh. Away. Oh, yes, David Louise. Nangolan with the ridiculous overhead kick, but it worked. Griezmann's won the header as well. Now Royce, this is good. Come on, go on Lukaku. Now Escalante on his Man United debut. He's given it to Morgan Schneiderlin. Oh, what a save. Yep, good tackle again from Benucci. Pressure from Man United. What is that for? Ref! Right, three minutes of added time. Is there chance? To actually force the hair into a save, something we've not been able to do thus far. Oh, Royce, too heavy! And a Herrera's coming on for Manchester United. They probably don't need to change anything, they've been dominant. Yes, good tackle. Very good play. Alright, here we go then. Griezmann to Lukaku. He's done superbly there, Lukaku. And he's found Royce. <sighs> what a save! Brilliant stop. Right, Man United are bringing on Lingard. I'm actually quite happy with the way this game's going. I think there's going to be a couple more chances for us, for sure. Carvajal's won it back. It's a bit of a steal. Go on. Yes, Carvajal, well played yet again. He's having a great game, Carvajal, up against Martial. All right, we can't be too disappointed with that. Goal to straw away at Man United. Very good defensive display. It's not a victory, but I think we only had one shot the whole game. We only let them have one on target. Carvajal with the man of the match. Arsenal extend their lead at the top over Bournemouth with a 3-0 thumping victory. That's more what we expect from Bournemouth, to be honest. But it's not awful. We're going to play one more game. It's going to be the game against Spurs, as we had the issues with the camera, which meant that the Leicester highlights were a lot shorter. Okay, Christensen's going to come in. Mbolo's going to come in for Dembele. Costa, Traore, Masonda gets a start again. We've got to win this by two goals to take it to extra time. Win it by three, and we get to the final. Let's go and see what the first leg score was in the other match. 3-1 to Ipswich. So it's looking like it's going to be an Ipswich versus Tottenham final at the moment. But, who knows? We've got to change that around and get there ourselves. Right then, no messing about. Harry Kane is not allowed to score another goal against me. I'm not letting it happen. He's not scoring a hat-trick. He's not even scoring one. Apart from if he wants to score an own goal, in which case I will gladly take that with a big thank you and a bow on top. That's good. That's wonderful. Costa, please, make it 1-0. Go on. Diego Costa, four minutes in, and we are leading Spurs. It is the perfect start to this semi-final second leg when we need to score goals and win the game. And again, Diego Co Oh, ref, he's gotta be off. He has to go. Alderweireld has gotta be sent off. He's got to be. Please send him off. He was the last man, Costa was in again. First 10 minutes of this game, if this is a red card, we're actually gonna do this, I can, I can feel it. He's off. He's actually been sent off. What a start. Surely we've gotta use this to our advantage now and win this. Diego Costa's in again for 2-0 Chelsea. It's two! 12 minutes in, we've levelled it. Diego Costa's on a hat-trick now. After, I did not think we'd be going to Wembley. But it looks as though, the way this is going, we are going to Wembley to play Ipswich. 
Bloody Ipswich in the final. Can't get too carried away though. Adam Lallana, he's played it to Harry Kane. He's done it, Harry Kane. Good save. Oh, he almost punched it in his own goal. I don't know what's happening. I think I need to calm down. I might have to go and get a drink. Might have to go and get a drink. Good header, well done. Oh dear, Costa to Bertrand Traore. Oh. Oh no. Yes, Harry Kane scuffs it. Takes the corner towards David Luiz, yes! 3-0 Chelsea, David Luiz. No idea what just happened to my voice. I don't even think I've ever hit that sort of octave before, whatever that was. David Luiz with the header. This is unbelievable. The cup comeback is complete. Wonderful corner from Sesk. David Luiz with that header. 3-0 Chelsea now. All we've got to do, I don't even know about the away goals rule, but it doesn't matter anymore because we've got the three goals we need. We just can't concede two. Renato Sanchez again. He's been fantastic in the middle alongside Fabregas. And Bolo plays it to Costa. He's found Traore again. It's a much more difficult attempt for Traore. Forces yet another save out of Lloris. Another corner towards Mbolo this time. Christensen to Sanchez. Good hit. Goal kick. Dembele is coming on for Bradley. Now Danny Rose. Dangerous ball again. Oh, chances are going back. We're literally having the luck of the draw here. No. Harry Kane. No! I said we needed another goal. I said Harry Kane wasn't going to score. But he has. Okay, as it stands, this is going to extra time. We really don't want extra time. We don't deserve extra time. We've been so much better than Spurs. They have had chances to score, though, so we can't complain too much. Our next game's against Bournemouth. Another huge one. Keeper's ball. Well done. Come on, we need that goal now to win this game. Cup tight. It's going to extra time right now. Diego Costa. That's good. Bertrand Troyore, come on son, you deserve a goal. Please wrap it up for us. Troyore, it's the worst attempt ever. That was awful. Yes, Diego, go on my son, you've got to bury that. Diego Costa, he's put it over. How have we not scored again? Fabregas once more, he's had a wonderful game. Now in Bolo, go on son, you're on side, just cut in. There we go. Is that a foul? It's probably a goal kick. Corner. Can we snatch it? With the last minute corner, Larice comes and punches it away. <sighs> We're going to make some subs. We've got to make some subs to keep it fresh. Costa's going to stay on because he's still on that hat trick. And I've got faith in him to get it. For a place at Wembley. Fresh legs of Griezmann and Dembele causing Spurs. A lot of problems. Go on. Oh, Danny Rose. He's had a good game in the end, really, Danny Rose. Make the numbers count. Foul, penalty, big chance. It's an awful tackle from Kyle Walker. Is he gonna go as well? He's not gonna go. We're gonna give it to Costa for that hat trick. Look at this. <laughs> it's absolutely shocking. <laughs> and he's like, no way. Here we go then, Diego Costa. Right hand side, he's chipped it. it. I didn't mean that, I pressed it by accident. Costa's got a hat trick, it doesn't matter what happens. Larice had no idea. It's a cracking penalty. It's a bloody brilliant penalty. I actually remember in like 2001, uh, my dad invited a load of Tottenham fans round, and I think they beat us 5 1 in the semi final of the cup. Here's Costa. 5. 5 1. That is it. Four goals for Diego Costa. Absolutely incredible. It's a great finish as well. He's sliding in, almost took too heavy of a touch. And finally, we've put this game to bed. Yes, Dembele blocked. Griezmann again. As Piliqueta. Oh, good effort. Yes, Masonda. Here we go. In the middle. Costa. Oh, what a save from Larice. There we go. Out of nowhere, we turn around a 3 1 deficit in the first leg after losing at home to Spurs. And this has got to be the biggest result of this entire series so far. 5-1 away at Tottenham, 4 for Diego Costa, and we are into the final of the EFL Cup. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a big like on the video. I'm absolutely buzzing. 26 shots, 21 on target. Larice making 16 odd saves, that equates to. We're going to go and see now.
who it's going to be in the final. I think it's pretty much guaranteed to be Ipswich unless Wigan do exactly what we did and turn around a massive deficit. We're into the final. I bet we're going to get sacked now. You watch. We're going to get sacked. All right then, wrapping up the episode. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.